John's team, what do you think the nation have been talking about? What well, have been chatting about? On Tuesday, England won the World Cup, didn't they? Hey! <laughs> hey! Hey! Good hey! 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 Who are you? <laughs> Sorry, Matt, that up. Sorry. Henning, so you, you've lived... How long have you lived in the UK? Since 2002. So I've seen them, I've seen them win many, many World Cups. <laughs> I don't enjoy football as much as I used to because our German side, we are rubbish these days. We have not, not won a major tournament for 17 years. <laughs> Haven't in, been to a final of one for about five years. And <laughs> been to a semi final of one for practically 18 months. So. Can I remind you you're a guest here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, 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 what? <laughs> Are you a big football fan, Helen? Um, yeah, I like football. I think it can be quite exciting. But I've been away, so I haven't actually caught up the news. So they had this, um, they had a game that basically got them towards the, the World Cup, yeah? So who was that against? <laughs> it was against... They beat, they beat Leeds. They beat Leeds. No, Eng they didn't. <laughs> no, so it was England, England against... played against Jossie's Giants. No, no. Who did England play against? England played against... Count Duckula's 11. <laughs> Oh. Right, they played um, Poland. The Poles, they looked ill, though, didn't they? I thought that the Polish people in general, they look fairly ill. <laughs> <laughs> whoever, whoever they replaced, so they always looked as if they hadn't slept for three weeks. They've had a tough time of it, historically, yeah. to be honest. <laughs> watching the, the History Channel just before the game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus. What those Germans did to us. <laughs> they realised, actually, we should be playing with the English. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sean, if it was a choice, OK, between England winning the World Cup and Chelsea, your team, winning the European Championship, what would you go for? Well, one that's not plausible, is it? <laughs> I think Chelsea are a good side. <laughs> There's just literally no chance of England winning the World Cup. You say that, but on the other side... Hey! Yeah. <laughs> so if it was a choice between England winning the World Cup and Leeds not being relegated again... <laughs> Somebody's Googled football this week, haven't they? <laughs> Funny is, now they're starting to wheel out all the statistics, isn't it? Like, uh, that England hasn't lost a football game in Brazil since 1972. <laughs> Well, Germany hasn't lost the World War since 1945, but uh, <laughs> all amounts to very little. <laughs> These are all good stats. They're really getting me up for it. I think we're going to win. I think, the, the, obviously, the big story is that Roy Hodgson, he gets us to the World Cup, and he doesn't... They don't even give him 12 hours. Like, his duvet's still warm. He's just got out of it. And there's, like, Roy's a racist on the front cover of The Sun. This ridiculous story uh, about him, part of his half-time team talk was this joke, a motivational joke about two monkeys in a spaceship and an, and an astronaut. And uh, the, the joke is that uh, the NASA speaks to the first monkey and says, switch on the retro boosters and the captain's then in the second monkey, do this, whatever, and that happens. And then they show the astronaut, he goes, I know, I know. He said, feed the monkeys and don't touch anything. And he told that joke and then he was saying... To, to the players, feed the monkey, meaning he meant Andrus Townsend, as in he's the main man. But it's been taken by the press as a racist statement. It's just an old joke, isn't it? He's done well, nothing. Not, well, for the, for the ironic thing about it is it's an old Irish joke. It used to be, you know, it's a racist joke about the Irish. And Roy's gone, I know what, it's a bit racist. I'll just say astronaut. <laughs> I won't say Irish astronaut. <laughs> he thinks he's removed. <laughs> Not He's seeing. wily. So the players came out in sport. I just don't think they've understood yet. I think they'll, the penny will drop in the midweek that it, they think he was being racist. So that's why they're going, it's ridiculous. Really, right. Oh, what? He's not, oh, I thought he was being racist. That's disgusting. If he's telling jokes in the dressing room when he could have been being racist, I've had enough. <laughs> the player himself has come out and said it's, it's nothing, it's not newsworthy. And, and on, Sky, on Sky News, they were reporting the story with a strap line underneath saying... Andros Townsend says, this is not newsworthy. <laughs> and we're here at the FA. <laughs> Roy Hodgson has to say, and he goes, Andros Townsend, not newsworthy, not newsworthy. I mean, the irony was delicious. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs>
don't know an enormous amount about football, despite the fact that I've been talking so much during this section of the show. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> there, there's something about Hodgson. He doesn't necessarily have a great deal of, sort of confidence about him. He doesn't necessarily look confident. If, if your boiler stopped working and you sort of rang the yellow page and said, can someone mend the boiler, and Roy Hodgson turned up at your door, you'd immediately think, well, he's not going to get it started, is he? Look at him. <laughs> Let's have a look at him. <laughs> I mean, he looks fine, though, doesn't he? he looks, that, that fills oh, me with confidence. That's, that's a man saying, I don't know what's wrong with your boiler. <laughs> that's a man saying, I'm, has anyone seen my chin? <laughs> what I liked about the way the press are just desperate to get some kind of innuendo or pun on the word Brazilian. So they're, and they're just... These really, like, these headlines that grammatically don't work, like, yeah, let's get a Brazilian, cos they know that the Brazilian means the waxing job. But it doesn't quite work. <laughs> it should just go, we're in the World Cup, shave your pubes. <laughs> there, we've said it. That's what we really want to talk about, you shaving your pubes. We know we're not going to win, so shave it off. <laughs> uh, all right, let's have a look and see if it's up there. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, this is the news that the England football team has won a short holiday in Brazil. 